you know, as the snow continues to fall out there and everything is white, it's hard to imagine that pretty soon we're going to have green fields to play soccer and baseball and softball a lot. It, it, it's hard. It really is. I know every year it is going to happen, though, and it is going to get green, and we're going to have some soccer, and we're going to talk some Madison East boys soccer right now with their head coach, Kyle Koenig, who is with us right now. And Kyle, thanks so much for being here. Thanks for having me. Yeah, let's recap the season that was last year first and talk about that 2018 team and basically – what was the greatest accomplishment that you had last year? Um, I think for us, um, coming into the season, we had lost a lot of seniors. So coming together as a team um, and making it to the regional final game, a, a tough loss uh, in, in the PKs. But uh, that was a, a big accomplishment for us and something we'll build on moving forward. Is that always a little bit harder to swallow? I always wonder this about soccer. When you lose in PKs, because it seems like you play this whole game and it's soccer, 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 but PKs is like different. It, it's like a coin flip, isn't it? Yeah, it's hard when you play 120 minutes and it comes down to, you know, about three minutes of shots yeah. and then the game's over. Um, but we uh, try not to hang our heads and are proud of uh, getting to the, the PKs and our accomplishments. Right. So, okay, <coughs> so you did pretty well last year. Now it's time to kind of build off of that. So what are you looking forward to with this team and heading into this year? Um, yeah, we actually are bringing back 17 returners from our varsity team. Wow. Um, and in addition to that, I'm hopeful to keep s some consistency with our coaching staff and start to build our freshman JV teams um, as well as I know that a lot of work goes in there as well to uh, produce good varsity teams as well. Sure. Now, uh, that's some of the positive stuff. What are some of the challenges uh, that you see on the horizon? For yeah, um, always challenges. Um, I think one challenge will be for us uh, in this coming season is those 17 returners um, not getting complacent with our uh, standings in the Big 8 and standings in the state, uh, but stay hungry to improve and get better, improve our record, and uh, just get better each day. Who are some of the names for us to watch as we're uh, watching you this year? Yeah, um, Robbie Paredes is a, a defender who was a first-team all-conference player for us last year, um, got some all-state recognition, um, so he'll be returning, uh, and we're returning our leading goal scorer, um, mm -hmm. Josh Cervantes, um, who um, we're looking forward uh, to score more goals uh, this upcoming season as well. Now, one thing we talk about a lot here on the shows of the Big A Conference, it's one of the most uh, difficult, I think, and competitive conferences that is out there. As you look ahead to the Big A Conference, where do you see your team? Yeah, that's this always year? a tough question. Uh, yeah. I agree. I, w I would argue that we have one of the toughest conferences in the state. Um, our goal is to always finish in the top three and always be in it. Uh, competing for that championship uh, each season. Feeling so good about getting that. there this year? I do feel good with there our returners. Go, uh, keep, work, <laughs> keep working hard. <laughs> you definitely should be feeling good about that. Coach, uh, I love thinking about Greenfield. Yeah, and, me too. Yeah, and some soccer coming up. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you very much.